Comparing fractions with equal numerators. As you learned before, a fraction has two numbers. The number below the bar is the denominator, which tells you how many equal parts are in the whole, while the number above the fraction bar is called the numerator, and it tells you how many equal parts are represented. As you know, a fraction is greater than another fraction if it represents a bigger chunk of the same whole. And if two fractions are divided into the same total number of equal parts, then we say these two fractions have the same denominator, and the greater fraction is the one with the greater numerator. But if we have two fractions, two sixths and two sixteenths, are they equivalent or is one of them larger than the other? If you look carefully at the two fractions, you will find that they have the same numerator, but the denominators are different. What does that mean? Well, the numerators are equal, so every fraction represents two equal parts of the whole. For both fractions, the whole is the same size, as you can see here. But which fraction is bigger? Notice that in the first fraction, the whole is divided into six equal parts, while in the second fraction, the whole is divided into sixteen equal parts. As you can clearly see, one part out of six pieces is bigger than one part out of sixteen pieces, and two parts out of six is bigger than two parts out of sixteen. Therefore, the fraction two sixths is greater than two sixteenths. In general, if the numerators of two fractions are the same, the fraction with the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. In this lesson, you learned how to compare two fractions with the same numerator but different denominators.